Not all video game bosses are made equally. Some bosses are hard because they're simply unfair. We're here today to name and shame the most annoyingly cheap boss battles that exist in games. From the many overpowered fighting game bosses to the most blatantly unfair boss in Dark Souls. Here are the 10 unfairest bosses in gaming. Much like the Fantastic Four, you are nothing to me. Get ready to see a lot of fighting games on this list. Somehow the developers of these games really seem to like cheap boss battles. Galactus is a cosmic planet-eating being. He's like a greatest hits of unfair fighting game bosses. He's huge in size, has a non-stop laser beam barrage and massively confusing attacks. Every time Galactus claps his hands, one of your teammates dies. And as if this fight wasn't hard enough already, Galactus makes you fight two metallic puppets for his amusement before you can even take a crack at him. What a nightmare. The Dark Souls series is known for being tough but fair except for the Capra Demon from the original Dark Souls. Everything about the battle is intended to cheat the player out of a victory, and the developers should be ashamed for its inclusion. What makes the Capra Demon such a hard battle is not so much the demon itself, but rather the area that you fight it in. You're forced into a tiny area giving you almost no room to maneuver. Here you have to take on the Capra Demon and his two dogs. It's only one of two unfair fights in this otherwise great game. Feel the wrath. Shao Kahn has ruined the lives of arcade goers and console owners for decades. Fans of Mortal Kombat expect a certain level of brutality, but the merciless beatings this guy delivers are out of this world. It's almost as if he knows your exact button inputs even before you enter them. Pretty much the only time you can attack Shao Kahn is when he's taunting you. That means your only hope of beating this guy is to take advantage of how often he laughs about your lack of skill. Now that's just mean. <laughs> the Monster Hunter series is filled with incredible boss battles. It also has its share of unfair ones that abuse the lengthy animations of the player. There is one monster that stands out from the rest in terms of unfairness. His name is Devil Yo and he's big, fast and strong. You encounter him in high rank missions where he will pose a challenge to the most experienced team of hunters. What makes him downright annoying is the fact that he can be summoned as a backup by some random monster when your quest is unstable. Which means he can throw a wrench in pretty much any high rank mission and completely ruin your day. Azazel is a fire-breathing crystal dragon that's as tall as the screen in Tekken 6. He has disgusting combo damage with his stomps, unpredictable animations and immaculate defenses. His enormous size covers the majority of your viewing angle at any given time, which is extremely annoying. Azazel is the perfect example of a fighting game boss that ignores all the rules and just does what he wants. Gil is the horribly unfair boss battle of Street Fighter 3 Third Strike. 
His normal attacks cause block damage and his stuns last much longer than yours. His super arts are particularly broken and cause obscene amounts of damage. Let me, let me the guy moves like lightning. He can actually kick three times in a second and his punches come completely out of nowhere, making it almost impossible to parry. It doesn't help that most of his attacks hit twice either. Gil is one rage-inducing bastard. Sonic 2 is a pretty short and easy game. However, there's one frustratingly difficult moment, and it happens during the final level. Once you reach the Death Egg Zone, you are thrust into two consecutive boss battles. The first is against Metal Sonic. The second is against Dr. Robotnik's giant mech. These bosses wouldn't be so hard if it wasn't for one thing. There are no rings in the level, which means you don't have any extra health. You have to beat them both perfectly in one try. Talk about a sudden spike in difficulty. You think the developers would have learnt from the unfair boss in Street Fighter 3. However, Seth in Street Fighter 4 is just as cheap. His moveset is made up entirely of enhanced versions of the best attacks from other characters. It seems that Seth was intentionally designed to be as frustrating as possible. He has all the strengths and none of the weaknesses. Even the most skilled players would have trouble against him on the hardest difficulty, as he's overwhelmingly overpowered. The second unfair boss fight in Dark Souls comes in the form of Bed of Chaos. Every challenge in Dark Souls is doable on the first try if you give it enough consideration, but not this one. Each time you destroy one of the two anchors placed on either side of the boss, the floor will crumble away. This happens with zero indication as to where and when it will happen. And to make matters worse, you can be swept off the edge of the arena at any time by his long limbs. This amount of randomness means you will almost surely die on your first try, no matter how skilled you are. This major boss battle is beyond cheap. Her moves are absolute overkill and she has so many other unfair advantages. She's fast as lightning, teleports around the arena and combos your health away. She also generates her health the entire fight and has very overpowered special moves. <laughs> The game knows she's unfair as it helps you by slightly decreasing her health every time you lose. This means that you will win eventually, but it will be a long and painful road. What's the most unfair boss battle you've ever fought? Let us know in the comments and don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel.